Hey everyone, today I want to show you how I handle projects inside ClickUp and while still trying to keep everything nice and organized. So I've written down the problem and the solution here and then we'll go through how I'm actually solving it. So the problem is, let's expand this, the problem is this example project we've got here. So we've got three lists essentially, we've got the project list and you could have these in a folder, I've got a backlog and then I've got a sprint folder up here where we're going to put some tasks. So the problem is our example project only has open, in progress and closed statuses. So if we click onto these, I've got to do, in progress and complete. So slightly different, but same sort of thing. So if we make tasks in that example project like we've got here, we then want to see them inside our backlog or inside our sprint, or you might have a sizing bucket. You might have lots of other lists and basically a whole process of where the tasks go. So the problem is that these tasks won't use the backlog or the sizing bucket or the sprint statuses. They'll always just have to do in progress complete. So the solution is create a global status list for your project folder. And that means that when you create any project and put any tasks in there, you're not going to have to worry about trying to move them to different lists and get all confused with the statuses. And you can just keep them in one place, essentially, and then everything will work nice and smoothly. So I'm going to close this out and show you what I mean. So this is our project here. We've got a few tasks and what we want to do is first of all add them to the backlog. We'll add some of them to the backlog. So if we go into here to do in progress and complete, I'm just going to click on the right hand side here and I'm going to add this task to the backlog. So create the lists and let's put this one in the backlog as well. There we go. So we've got two tasks in the backlog. We'll go over to there and oh, we've already got a task that's sitting in there. So you can see these say these tasks are from another list. Create the list, write down all the statuses. If we go here, we've still only got to do in progress complete. What we actually want to see is we want to use these. We want to use open, blocked, analysis, estimated, and closed. Because the idea of the backlog is that we have some specific statuses in there so that we can then manage our tasks and then move them to a sizing bucket and a sprint and so on. So the solution for this is if we go into our example project, what we want to do is change these statuses. And the statuses that we want to use are going to be a combination of the backlog and the sprint folder. So if I go into the sprint as well, actually, and we'll click list statuses in here, what we've got are open, blocked, in progress, QA testing, client testing, reopen, approved for production, and closed. So we're going to combine the sprint folder statuses and the backlog statuses with our example project. So we'll go into here, and I've got it all set up ready, so we can just go to global statuses, and we get this list, which is basically a combination of all of them. So now we hit save on there, and the ones that were set to do, we're going to set those to open. There we go. So now we've still got all our projects or all our tasks inside this project. And you can see these are in the backlog. We'll go over to the backlog. And now everything just comes under the one open. So now everything looks nice and simple. We can go into here and we can say, all right, this one is actually going to be my either is for analysis. So we can pick the ones that we want. And when you go into here, the statuses are the more simplified version. So it's a little bit more complicated, but way less complicated than having everything all inside in one list, but not inside another, and the status being split up, it gets very confusing. So let's say we'll just tick those off. So awesome, that's done. We've created the list. We've written down all the statuses. Cool, we've gone through now. Now explain this task. So we've explained the problem and explained the solution. Now what we've got here is a milestone. You might think of this as, let's say, it's an epic and you might not want to add epics to a sprint. So I'm going to say, I want to work on these tasks next. So they're not going in the backlog. These are going to go into the sprint. We'll say, right, those are going into sprint number one, that one, and that one. But to get that to work, so these are subtasks here, to get that to work, we need to turn on a click app. So we'll go up into our, let's go into our settings, click apps. It doesn't matter if you see my email, that's all good. And then we need to turn on tasks in multiple lists and you need to check subtasks in multiple lists. So once that is on, then you'll be able to put these subtasks inside another list. So now what this means is, imagine this is your epic. Imagine you've got 20 subtasks in here. You can add all those to a sprint or some of them to a sprint, but you can keep the epic, the main task, inside this project. So now if we go over to our sprint, you can see we've just got two tasks in here, nothing gets cluttered, and then we can see we've got all the statuses there and we can create new tasks. So this is a nice simplified way of handling projects inside, inside ClickUp and you're not going to get everything super cluttered. So 
In summary, we can open up the notepad again. The solution is create a global status list for your project folder. So now you can keep everything all in your project list, but you can add it to the other lists as you need. This is how I do it anyway. Uh, you may do it differently, you may have better ideas. If so, let me know because yeah, I've been working on this all, all morning trying to figure out the best way to do it because we had a big project in my 9 to 5 with about 90 tasks in there. There were subtasks, there were nested subtasks inside those as well. And so it's getting very confusing where the home list was and what statuses it should be using and all that stuff. But now the home list is always going to be the project and the statuses could be everything. And that should pretty much solve it. So yeah, hope that helps and I will see you in the next video.